if you don't have that fungus, the mycorrhizae, you can't create, there's another fungus, it's called trichoderma, which is probably one of the best strands of fungus that get rid of rot. So you get that in your soil, you have to have good soil with the chips to even have something to combat your tree from rotting. Huh. Yeah. And you don't get root rot as much because the chips also act as a sponge. So heavy chips, it won't overwater. It's yeah, it hard to underwater. And you get mycorrhiza. Yeah. It's That's perfect. It's a win-win. It's just yeah. some of the stuff nowadays is so modern. They don't want chips in their yard. They want rock. Yeah, or they want things to look really with pretty. Grass, but go down and in, into the main part of the town where everything's irrigated, and look how much better their landscapes are. Mm -hmm. They have real dirt. Yeah. It, yeah. You can actually break down little pebbles and stuff in your dirt just by mycorrhiza putting an organic layer in it. Yeah, that mycorrhiza is a drill, <laughs> and it drills down through the rocks and turns it into minerals that the plants can actually eat. Yeah. That's why you see p pine roots growing through the rocks mm -hmm. because the mycorrhiza was drilling and the root followed the mycorrhiza any little spot it can go it'll go yeah. there and break it up right uh Today I have a super exciting episode for you because I'm here at High Desert Sawmill. Justin is the guy that gives me my wood chips. The cool thing about urban lumberjacks and the arborists out there is that they really care about plants and trees and it's different than logging in a community, in a, in a forest, right? Where you're chopping down trees and you plant more trees and then those trees grow back. It's different than that. Urban lumberjacks actually harvest fallen trees. It's more of a recycling program. And it's a recycling program where when a tree falls in the middle of the city, maybe falls in a house, falls in a car, or it doesn't fall in anything, but it's a big tree and needs to get rid of it. People need to chop down trees that are really old, that are falling apart or dead. So it's more of a harvest instead of trash. And that's what I love about this. So Justin dumps a ton of wood chips off at my house all the time. And uh, the wood chips come from the trees that have fallen down or people need to take down for construction or whatever reasons. And he chips them up, brings those chips to my house, and it's pure garden gold. But the other piece of wood chips is these logs. And I'm really getting excited because this is a sawmill. He has a small sawmill here. So he slices up wood and actually today he's gonna give me a mesquite slab. And this slab is super epic, very beautiful. I'm excited to work with it and do a video on showing you guys what I do with this slab. But I'm very excited about this place and having a cool relationship with some cool people who care about the, the trees and care about the earth. And uh, when you wood chip the ground, there's so much fungus in the chips that it will help bring land back, restore land that has been broken or damaged or contaminated. And I'm gonna be doing some videos and a whole series on that for you guys because I'm very excited about the role that wood plays in restoring the health of the earth. So I'm gonna show you a little bit around the yard and I'm gonna show you that cool slab that they just gave me in. Hopefully we're gonna get a chance to talk to Justin, tell you a little bit about their business and a little bit about what they do. All right, so that's a huge, nice chunk of firewood. This is the firewood pile, but when you look in this pile, I see a table and a big long slab countertop and uh, or a whole bunch of them out of this log. And these are pine, so pine have different properties. And I want you to check out this, this just pile of mesquite, just a really dark rain in the middle. These nice chunk of logs here are amazing. Even this one, I mean, look at the beauty in that log. It's just, it's, it's epic and beautiful. And uh, look, at, look at the color. And when that's finished, it's just gonna be so beautiful. Oh, looky, there's a goat. Hi, buddy, how you doing? You have a little ramp runway with logs. How cool is that? Hi, dude. How's it going? All right, so here's another little pile. I'm gonna walk over this pile here and I'll show you this. This is the slab that Justin is giving me. Check this out. This is a two inch thick mesquite slab. And wow, when I finish this, do something with it, 
Oh, it's gonna be amazing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but look at the bottom of this slab. Oh my gosh. This is like incredible. I love the raggedness of this slab, just the raw nature. So this is very exciting. We're gonna be doing something with this on a video and uh, thanking Justin for this amazing slab. I gotta go show you, and look at underneath this. Look at these, these incredible benches and stuff just, just chunked here. Amazing. We got my favorite truck right here. It's the High Desert Sawmill truck. Justin visits my house and dumps wood chips off with this truck all the time. Look at this stash of logs. Now, Justin told me that he actually chopped this tree down. This has a tree that had to come down. Looks, looks like a eucalyptus tree to me, but um, it is insane, insanely massive. <laughs> like literally. I've never seen anything like this tree. Look at this thing. So this is Mario, <laughs> Justin's brother, and this is Justin, my wood chip guy. And now I'm here at his place. Uh, what do you call this place? High Desert Sawmill? It's the yard. The yard. This is the yard. And it's got so much amazing wood in it. And uh, I want to show you this epic piece right over here. So I want you to tell everybody about this. This. How big is, is that piece anyway? So we got a big log back here. It's a piece of eucalyptus. And a client called us out to see what we can do with the tree, if we could repurpose it. So what we did is we removed the tree for him and milled it. And this is the main log section. Here's standby, I wanna get that scale. It's 23 feet long and 23,000 pounds. Six foot diameter eucalyptus. Wow, so this He's is a customer's be, log. Yeah, yep, it's a customer's log. We've already milled up 80% of the wood already, and he's putting it in his house for flooring and stair treads, baseboards. And that's right here. This is some leftover stuff, so if he needs more, we can mill more. So, so basically, so, so he had a tree that had to come down, and he called you, and you come and took the tree down with the intent of using it for stuff eventually. Yeah, yep, repurpose it all. Yeah. Hate to see something like this. 80 hundreds of years of history just go straight in the trash yeah 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 so they're building a new house and it's going in their whole house wow repurposing everything Definitely. we we do we try to recycle as best as possible do you consider yourself an urban lumberjack i have to <laughs> the forest is the city for me true <laughs> what you're doing is taking trees that actually have to come out yep and recycling it into chips and logs so every bit of it every bit of it i love it and people can make furniture so you do rough cuts rough cut wood and then you will allow them to have a nice slab and then they can take it and, and get it finished somewhere yep yeah Sweet. if they need a specific size i can cut their wood or if i have something here to the size they want to work with and they can have an exact dimension unlike if you go to the box store home depot or somewhere and buy something your two by four is not a two by four. Yeah, you're right. So I can cut exact size. Oh, cool. Especially people wanting to woodwork or they need a custom size table. We can Sweet. cut it. Specific awesome. Specific size mantles. Oh, awesome. All that fun stuff. Yeah, love it. Sweet. And that's a highdesertsawmill.com? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. So yeah, show me around. What else we got here going on? So you have a lot of logs of customers' logs that are here that are waiting for the customer to want to do something with it. Yeah, so... Just like we had that big storm, a bunch of people lost a lot of trees in their landscape. So if they can load them up and bring them out to me, we can mill them. Oh, okay. So a lot of this stuff in here is other customers' wood that we're gonna be milling down. They gave me the size dimensions they want and I'll get it on the mill and process it down. Wow, how cool. We got tons of other firewood in the back. Lots of stuff that's great for you know, turning if people want to woodwork and they have a lathe and they turn wood. Absolutely. We got blanks, anything. Lots of scrap wood. If you just want a cheap piece of scrap, we have scrap piles too. Sweet. So we got your mill here and that's a, it's kind of a small little mill. It's portable. It is, it's productive though. Yeah. It can cut down a 36 inch log, process it down. Uh, the widest I can cut on this specific mill is 21 inches, but 21 feet long too. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
It's very productive. It doesn't take a lot of wood out of the cut when you're cutting. It's that real thin kerf. Oh, yeah, let's look at the blade here. Because some of these chainsaw mills, you're right, they'll take out. It's super thin. Yeah. Wow, so what kind of mill is this called? It's a, it's a wood miser is the company who makes it. It's an LT35. Okay. Uh, it's a manual mill still, so I got to do all the log handling by hand. Uh, but the whole head and everything that the bandsaw runs on the engine is all electronic controlled. So I set the dimensions. That's so why I get an exact cut every single time. All done by electronic. Wow, that's amazing. You don't even have to push the mill. Nope, it's all drives itself. Yeah. You set the speed. Some woods are harder than others, so you can't cut as fast. It's all done with the, the control panel there. And you can take it anywhere you need to. That's great. Yep, actually in a couple of weeks, I'm taking this all the way out to Nevada by Las Vegas. Got a customer out there that got a hold of me through the internet. And I'm gonna be out there milling up some wood for him. Sweet. It's amazing. All right, let's let's look at this scrap pile real quick. <laughs> Which one? I, I know. So this is technically your firewood pile. Yeah, it's like bonfire wood. Yeah, that's so there's good. like bonfire wood there. Camping wood, a lot of lots the mix of stuff. I mean, there's everything in there. There's pine, elm, acacia, mesquite. So even, yeah, some people that wanted to make a little bowl or something, they might even find a piece in here to oh, turn. Yeah. You can find something real kind of crazy gnarly. I think this is small. Oh, yeah, look at but that. It's got lots of little knots on here. You could turn that and get something little out of it. Right, right. All over the place. Cool. And then this is the big <laughs> storehouse of, like, almost pretty much epicness. This is where we break down a lot of the logs into firewood. Okay. So it starts off in piles and we get it all split. So we got ficus, ash. This is our mesquite pile. Lots of mesquite in there. And then it just keeps going down. We got acacia. The whole back of the yard's pine. We're going to be doing a sale this year on all of our pine, getting rid of it for half price. Instead of 20 bucks a wheelbarrow load, it's going to be going for 10. So half the price for pine, only at the beginning of the season this year. Cool. When, the cool when is the season? Hits, Usually October okay. is when it starts. Sweet. Yep. So people contact you, then uh, they can come look and see what you got. They could buy it on sale, but they can also buy it when it's not on sale because it's still not that expensive. No, we sell it in bulk and we also deliver. We take the chip trucks we got. We could fit three cords in there. A cord is four foot wide, four foot tall, and eight foot long of firewood stacked tightly. Okay. That's a cord. Oh, awesome. Yep. And we so you'll deliver three. actual firewood to people or logs? Yeah, if they want logs. I haven't delivered very many logs oh, to okay. people. But firewood, for sure, we do a lot of that. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, and then look at that pine. I mean, this, this thing is this thing's huge. It smells so good right over here, too, because of the sap. Yeah. Yeah, if you ever have any questions or anything or want to just take a look at what we have, you know, you always find my information online okay. highdesertsawmill.com my phone number's on there you can also email me and you can set up a time check out you know you can go through our firewood piles and pick out specific pieces if you want something cool to to work with because well if it's out here it's going to firewood cool if we can use it better and put it in someone's house for them that's what i like to see. awesome all right <laughs> yeah heck yeah so definitely give justin a call um if you guys have any ideas like even this thing like oh Oh my gosh, thing's huge. Talking about the goat. And the goat. That's Colt. Hey Colt, how you doing buddy? All right, so I just made it back from Justin's place at his awesome sawmill lot up there. This is what I came home with. Boom, I'm so excited. So there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff here. Um, you guys can go there and get rough cut lumber if you wanna build some stuff. And that is what I did here. I got some rough cut lumber from him and uh, he gave me this slab right here. And then, uh, and then, yeah, you know, it's not that expensive either to buy some cool stuff that you can like fix and, and make yours. So let me show you some of this stuff because I'm really excited. Hi, sweet baby girl. This is a mesquite slab. And what are you doing, sweet baby? Hey. Now there's another piece of slab right there that's super cool. But this right here was the mesquite slab that he gave me. And I love the other side of this. It's like just raw. 
Super cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have a couple ideas. But if you guys have any ideas of what I can do with some of this wood, I have some ideas, but I'd like to hear your ideas too. Um, I have a nice, cool slab. I forget what kind of wood this is. It looks like an arrowhead. Probably an end table. It's kind of big, you know. Um, I got a nice, couple nice round things here to work with. And this cool piece right here, I love the end over here. Um, I believe this is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a beautiful wood. So, I got a beautiful kitty walking on a piece of beautiful wood. Hey, baby. Yeah, she likes it too. This piece is probably one of my favorites. This is a piece of eucalyptus right here. And... It's a very heavy piece, actually. I have flip-flops on, so I can't crush my feet. And... Oops, sorry, baby. Look at this piece of eucalyptus. It's like a surfboard. But it's amazing. It has, it's been sitting out for a long time, so it's dry. It's got a big curve in it here. But I think we could sand that out really make this amazing a nice bench or something and then this is a really cool piece here too um, this one's not as heavy but it's a big log as well um, I just think it's gonna be really cool to get to do stuff with these so what is your thoughts what do you think I should make with these pieces of amazing wood and then right behind these pieces of amazing wood are Justin's wood chips so urban lumberjacks very important job in today's world and it's a very exciting one too